good size in the post. You see the matchup underneath as Waltman takes her time and finishes as the help flies by. That was a great pass. The lowest scoring teams in the nation as that gets into Singleton and she's not able to finish. One more try, she's got it and the foul. That's the kind of play that makes me think about the different pieces on this team, Rachel, how they have so many transfers and have had to gel to their different styles and different roles they've had to take up as Layden will knock down the first three for the Boiler League. You'll also noted, notice uh, certainly a small lineup out there for them as well as Terry. Picks up her dribble, lobs it inside to learn. Very well done by Purdue's offense. Very good offense. And the board taken by Layden. Harden with a fake pass. She knocks it down. Very well done by the Purdue guard. There it is. The free throw line jumper and taken by Purdue. Nice ball handling by Smith, who dumps it off to Layden. Beautiful playmaking by the Boilermakers. That was beautiful. Josh Brown seeing a lot of black jerseys around her, and she'll turn it over. Brown has been quiet today so far, leading scorer on this team, and just how she meant to draw it up. Debe on the last bucket. Here is Ellis lining up a three, and she drains it the third for Purdue, and maybe feeling go. like the shots are going to fall. Absolutely. Especially being on the road. Here is Dixon, who moves all the way around. And the score. Good take. Easy. And us guards have to take responsibility for it. Dixon quickly handing it off to Brown and one. That's beautiful. That's great. In high school, maybe you're not the same player you are at 16 than you are at 20 or 21, and really taking advantage of those opportunities. Exactly. And I think they've all shown they've gotten better over the years. Josh Brown, one of those players previously in the Mid-American Conference. Beautiful reverse team. She got out of it really quick. And she's undersized in this matchup against Waltman, and Waltman goes to get it. They can keep her out of foul trouble, keep her on the floor. It's going to be tough. Ricky was the highest ranked player to enter Purdue, according to ESPN W. And she's really been coming to into her own. You know, it could be fatigue, too. When teams travel, it's going to affect your legs. Another three, this time by Mason. Smith in trouble. Ellis feeling it and drops it through for three. That, that is big. number four for Purdue. It was. It kind of felt like nothing was really happening, and she said, all right, I'm going to make a play. Into Brown, making the quick move again. Lead frogs through the paint for two. Love it. Rebound fought for by Ellis, and she will push the pace. Inside to learn, blocked by Dixon. Fantastic defense by the Scarlet Knights. Will miss fire. About Ellis working the boards. Gerald wants to see her guards get those rebounds. Yep, she said if our guards don't rebound, and then there she goes. Brown looking inside. Sidibe falling away, and she's got it. 12 points early on, but has felt completely comfortable since. A absolutely. I love that she stayed confident. Speaking of confidence, Layden knocking down the three, her second today. I think it's kind of smart right now that Purdue's been so patient. Learn and won. The patience pays off. Largest lead of the game for the Boilermaker. Dixon dishing it off to Brown, who tried to hand it back an ill-timed turnover. Dixon tried to go behind the back and it was poked away by Layden. Up ahead to Ellis. That won't go, but no other red jerseys back and Layden will get. I mean, the Big Ten is, is incredible. I'm excited to watch that. Quickly out of the timeout, Sayani Lassiter calling her own number will get the three to drop. Yeah, she's my kind of coach. I love it. <laughs> love the three ball. Layden picks it up, five seconds left, lob into Waltman's job to make something happen, and she does. Especially for a Purdue team that has given up leads, including against this team from Rutgers, and then against Wisconsin. They lost a 22-point lead and lost the game, and then you allow a three. Lacey
Alicia Peach. Five seconds to go for Rutgers, who will fall to two and 13 in the Big Ten. Petrie will get a late bucket and the final score, 70 to 50. <laughs>